This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap. It's Friday. I'm Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network. Labor Department reports U.S. producer prices fell a steeper than anticipated 0.9% in August, helped by lower energy costs. Total sales of U.S. retailers in August fell for a second month in a row, while wholesale inflation also plunged. Sales dropped 0.3% in August. Foreclosure filings in August increased 27% compared to the same month a year ago. Nationwide, almost 304,000 homes received at least one foreclosure-related notice in August. That's up 12% from July. And the University of Michigan Reuters Consumer Sentiment Index rose to 73.1. Economists had been predicting a slight gain to 64. Business inventories increased in July. The Commerce Department says inventories rose by 1.1% during the month. In other news, Lehman Brothers' top execs are hurrying to put a sale of the struggling investment bank together. A Ladenburg Thalman analyst in a research note wrote that Bank of America will win the auction for Lehman, arguing that there is a natural fit between the two firms. Delta is restoring several flights to Hawaii from the mainland that it canceled earlier this year. And the co-CEO of Research in Motion said that the company's BlackBerry Bold wireless device is expected to make the U.S. launch date with AT&T Wireless sometime next month. That's later than many analysts had anticipated. Scheduled U.S. economic reports next week include the Empire State Index, Industrial Production, Consumer Price Index, Home Builders Index, Housing Starts, the Philly Fed Index, leading indicators from the Conference Board, and the FOMC meeting is also scheduled for next week. Scheduled earnings, Adobe Systems, Best Buy, Darden Restaurants, Morgan Stanley, and Goldman Sachs, also Lehman Brothers on the list, Rule Metro, Kroger, Shoe Pavilion, CKE Restaurants, General Mills, Carnival, just to name a few. Also FedEx on that list. Stocks in the news today, Consul Energy set plans to buy back up to $500 million of its own stock over the next couple of years. Rockwell Collins affirmed its fiscal 2008 net income outlook, and E-Trade Financial named Bruce Nolop, its chief financial officer, effective immediately. And that is the market wrap on a Friday. Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network.